Well, it's out. It's uh, Friday, uh, May 21st, and as you can see, I brought down the. Uh, well, I I did. My son and I brought down the uh, turbines. Actually, he did uh, the work on bringing down the turbines. And uh, there is the collapsed top of the tower that is now down. And over here, you'll see the top piece that we had to cut off. That totally buckled on us. As you can tell, it's pretty well mangled, had to be cut. But uh, this is how these things get reinforced. Uh, while I was out working in the last few days, my son, Sean, who I'm blessed to have as a son, uh, took care of this. There's a rebar going four feet down into the ground, and there's 650 pounds of added concrete on top of what we originally had on there. So uh, that's kind of taken care of there. And he did that guy wire or that anchor and then he did also this other anchor here as you can see and the one on the other side I still gotta do tomorrow but there's a tower uh, my wife took a video while we were going up on that uh, 85 foot man lift and uh, where you see the first uh, guy wires going to uh, that section or the section above that is the original tower height is 50 feet we've added two other sections on top of that so it's 70 feet high and you can see the bracket that we manufactured i did the, all the welding on that this morning while he brought the turbines down and uh, there's going to be one turbine up one turbine down uh, the wires are just hanging there we didn't have enough time to finish today so i'm going to see what i can do uh, this weekend i got a pro pro i promised my little boy take him to a water park so uh, we'll see how much I get done, and then Monday we'll finish it out when Sean comes back. Uh, but I'll try to get all the wiring taken care of and the guy wires all taken care of. Right now there's only one in the back, and then the one coming down this side I still have to do. This one has to be totally uh, redone, or not redone, but i got to bring the wire from the top collar down. And I will show you... Uh, what we're doing on this end here, this is where I did all the welding this morning for that bracket, uh, one of the original brackets here and kind of work in progress here, there's a man lift uh, and then uh, this is my work for tomorrow morning, I gotta dig that up uh, about six inches and you see all the rebar in there, that rebar is gonna go down four feet and uh, we're gonna pour uh, the concrete on there. There's already concrete on, cr concrete on there, they're going down two feet. Uh, but uh, definitely needs more. And uh, you can see there's the, uh, the two guy wires going up onto the tower. Uh, she's pretty tall. When we were up there, uh, you could really feel the wind up there. It's amazing how much that extra 20 feet added. So I don't think we're going to have any issues. And there's the uh, there's a concrete that uh, I gotta pour tomorrow. Uh, so that's all gonna work out. Uh, I kind of mentioned having this uh, a while back, but I don't know if I ran through it. Uh, I still not finished this. That's you know something else that I gotta finish. All the electrical connections. My main push right now is to get that tower done, get the turbines up. And I got our resorter, we sorted all the uh, uh, panels uh, that I do have and uh, or that I added a couple weeks ago. I still haven't brought them in here. And I put the turbines back in service. So uh, I will keep you posted. Uh, do another video tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, we'll see if I actually do something on Sunday because it's still Lord's Day. So I'd rather not do any work. but. Maybe I'll be able to get some done tomorrow, okay? Thanks, and God bless.